Hey girl. Hello everybody, my name is Simply Vulcan, and in this pick a card, I'm doing a timeless yes, or yes and no question. And so, just like my usual pick a cards, I have four different palettes already sectioned out, and I'm going to pan to it in a moment for you guys to see. For each of these piles, there's going to be some layers to it, and layers of how the answer, depending on the subject of it rather, since I'm going to have to be covering several subjects in each pile, there's going to be layers of the yes and no for each pile. But with all that said, you guys, let me just go ahead and show you guys the pile so we can get your reading started. All right, you guys, so what I want you to do is to take three deep breaths in and three deep breaths out, but have your eyes closed during this time. And on your last deep breath out, that is when I want you to open your eyes and whatever pile is calling to you the most, whichever one that you noticed first, whichever one your eyes are being drawn to the most, that is the pile that is meant for you. Now, some people may feel called to more than one pile that is more than okay that means that you need to just find the cards that are resonating with you for those individual piles so pile number one is a lapis pyramid pile number two is another lapis pyramid because lapis is my favorite stone pile number three this is not a pyramid but I had to make do because I don't have four pyramids, so don't hate me, you guys. This is a amethyst point. And then pile number four is a shungite pyramid. So once you do, once you guys do pick your pile, um, I'm going to always leave the timestamps down below in the description box and also in the comments below so you can just click the timestamp and go straight to y'all's reading. But yeah, let's just get started, you guys. All right, people who chose pile number one, let's just go ahead and get into your reading for your yes and no question. Laying out these cards right now. I'm already, for a lot of you guys, I feel like there's like a theme for most of you guys, it seems like in pile number one, but we're definitely going to break into it a little bit more. So the first thing that I'm getting for you guys is that a lot of you guys in pile number one may have asked a question pertaining to if something's going to work out, if you're going to attain a certain level of success or if you're on the right path. And first and foremost, what I want to say is when the Empress card Archangel Gabriel comes forward, he steps forward in talking about lavish and abundance, give birth to your dreams and nurture yourself and others. I want you guys to keep in mind of Archangel Gabriel. But on top of that as well, I want you guys to keep in mind for those that are willing to connect with the archangels, with the divine. I do suggest, I feel as if Archangel Gabriel would be a wonderful connection for most of you guys to have. Archangel Gabriel, he can be a little bit sturdier, but he's still very, I feel like one of the archangels that are easier to get along with and no matter where you stem from in your belief system. So that is something I want to suggest to you. But going on with what I was talking about with Archangel Gabriel being the theme of this reading, this is, Gabriel comes forward in terms of a, um, you know, as it said, as the card says, lavish and abundant. So to me, this is definitely giving me a green light for you guys for, in terms of like, for speaking of career in that essence. Definitely for people in pile number one, what I'm constantly getting and with all these cards and how they're lining up, for people in pile number one, I'm definitely getting a yes, very positive yes vibe for a lot of you guys. And I say this because we have the Three of Fire as well, which pairs beautifully with the Empress card as well. Like we have, you know, this is another card. Speaking of abundance, things are looking very good, have patience at this time and make long-term plans. So again, we're speaking about abundance. And when we talk about abundance, I feel like a lot of people think about abundance in terms of wealth, which absolutely, but we're also covering, I also feel like this reading's covering abundance in terms of with your love life as well, because we have the new moon and Libra talking about a new romantic cycle beginning. So what I'm feeling, if you guys, if people in pound number one in term, asked a question in terms of love life, in terms of, if you're going to find love soon, perhaps, or maybe just in your current relationships, trying to seek some positive affirmation or seeing, trying to hear as if this is the relationship meant for you. And if it's, I don't want to just give a resounding yes for this, just because, well, actually, I kind of do. I kind of actually do feel like for most people in panel number one, that it is a resounding yes in terms of when it comes to relationships as well, that you guys, the relate your romantic relationships, even like your platonic friendships and all that in family life as well, everything, your relationships in general in your life. There's, I feel like a lot of you guys in pound number one, you guys have a lot of positive people in your life and that 
I don't feel like this is the time for you to truly let go, or at least for those that you have in mind, those that you had in mind when you brought, asked your question before you picked your pile, there's definitely, I'm not getting a negative vibe at all. I feel like, you know, with the full moon eclipse talking about the conclusions are within reach. If you still are not sure, then I feel like you're going to get the answer that you need. And like, I want to honestly say from whenever you get this message, like I'm seeing two. So whether this is like in two days, two, two weeks and even, or even two months, I feel like that's like the cutoff point. I don't want to like, I don't feel as if it's much longer than that. Even two months, I feel like it's kind of pushing it. But if you still, even with this reading as you're not entirely sure, what I want to suggest to you is to wait until maybe the next full moon during whenever you're watching this, because this is a timeless reading, right? But to, yeah, wait until like the next full moon cycle and to see if any information comes forward into play that will give you clarity on whether this is for like your relationships or just with your job or anything like that. If you're feeling whatever avenue that you're feeling unsure in, I would say wait for like a full cycle, like a full moon cycle. So yeah, really what I mean by this is just to wait for like a full lunar cycle and to see if there's any information that is brought to light. Because with the Knight of Fire, this pairs with the conclusions are within reach beautifully because the Knight of Fire talks about a sudden event that needs immediate action. Time is of the essence and think things through carefully. This is definitely showing to me, you guys, that yeah, if you, if not now, if you don't already have like the, uh, feel like you have enough information, you're definitely in the next, in like, in your, in like a full moon cycle. You, I feel like you definitely are going to get some information. Um, for some people in pile number one, I also pulled the card with the fair man, dealings or relationship with a man with blonde, gray, or white hair. This could just be an affirmation for some of you guys in pile number one. If, perhaps for some of you guys seeking that affirmation, find, trying to find that one card to make that help you click with this reading that will give you like your breadcrumb or affirmation that this reading is meant for you that um this i feel like this fair man fair man card is or dealing with the fair man is going to give you that affirmation but also with the vine card as well this the vine card talks about seeking out information that will help you the vine card pairs perfectly with the knight of fire which again pairs with the um pairs with the full moon so definitely i feel as if for you guys in pound number one if you if this reading does not give you the exact clarity clarity that you need or your resounding yes or no that you would like. Um, but again, like, I just feel like this is just such a, like, such a positive, like, over affirming yes for people in pile number one. But if you still are feeling unsure, I feel like the other purpose for people who chose pile number one um, spirits are really trying to help you wait it out a little bit. You know, even though the Night of Fire talks about the time is of the essence, time is only truly of the essence is been brought up in this way so you have to put a time frame on it instead of just having it just you know if you're waiting for like some information but like the information after like a full moon cycle full moon cycle is not enough for you maybe you'll just keep on waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting until the universe gives you your answer for you on a silver platter that's not going to be the case like you're still going to have to make a decision at some point but the universe and your guides are still trying to let you know that's like, they're trying to relay information to you. They're trying to leave some breadcrumbs for you to follow, for you to really get the affirmation that you need, get you to the point where you have a sense of direction in your path. Um, and going into the Firefly card and the Black Egg card, I feel like this is going, jumping back into outside of relationships. And I feel like going back into career. Um, I definitely feel like for you guys in pal number one, pertaining to career, work, creative pursuits i mean really that's what the black egg represents is the giving birth to your dreams but also the black egg represents keeping pay, paying attention to your mindset at this time so perhaps people in pound number one you guys went into this and you asked a question pertaining to your career but also i feel like this this black egg revolves around your relationships as well um the black egg represents a little bit of balance as well so if you're not in balance um the narratives that you'll tell for yourself for certain relationships that you have or like your work life or your career life maybe you feel like you're not in the place that you need to be at or maybe you just feel like you're in a rut perhaps definitely check your mindset because maybe your ego is coming into play maybe your ego is out of balance and just coming in too strongly and convincing you that your situation is worse than what it is so maybe that's why um i feel like the egg card plays several roles but perhaps for those that are feeling unsure about the resounding yes that I'm getting, you know, there's just like another layer 
of like not only are you going to get extra information to give you that clarity for your that extra clarity for the question that you have at hand but also with the firefly card this more so talks about in terms of career pursuits and stuff like that this firefly card really is just representing to really let your light shine so for those that are questioning if they are on the right path right now because maybe certain actions have just happened to them and they just don't know what to take these bumps as the road like what these bumps on the road represents are there you you know you don't know if these bumps on the road or these obstacles are serving to realign you or readjust you or change your direction or if these are just meant to be part of your path all part of the process because you know I can I and I can understand that right especially when you're going through some of it, some of the painful experiences it's just like am I like why am I willingly putting myself through this am I just like beating a dead horse am I just like running into a brick wall this definitely the firefly card is definitely telling you trying to ask you to shine your light and to be your most authentic self and to really express yourself creatively and to really acknowledge like where it is like find find a way to fulfill yourself more I guess is what I mean in terms of like for your career so maybe if you were doing a career that's just very unfulfilling maybe not necessarily just quit your job but again this is not my, me trying to give you life advice but if you're not feeling fulfilled the firefly card is giving you the represent uh the affirmation that it's like start finding a way to fulfill yourself more career-wise maybe start trying to figure out how you can get a different stream of income that will be a passion project of some sort because you want to like as a reminder we have the three of fire top and and the three of fire and the emperor's card archangel gabriel again like i was saying that talks about the abundance so to have your creative projects to really have your like your passions paired with this abundant energy paired with these other abundant energy cards and speaking about how everything is going to be abundant and just the green light essentially definitely is something for you guys to think about in pile number one definitely and for your last card you guys in pile number one we have the ten of water and this card talks about a contented and rewarding family life your emotional and material needs are met and trustworthy relationships so this is definitely giving me the affirmation throughout this entire reading of what i was talking about for both career-wise and also relationships-wise and that you have in your life that this is a very yeah overall positive time for you guys there's not really a lot of people or any people that you really need to weed out right now if there are people that you feel like you need to weed out maybe this is the time for those people serve as like an ego check for you and to look at yourself and to see if you are out of balance or not obviously this is not my place to tell you if you are or not because I don't know you personally, I don't know your situation, but this is definitely a suggestion with all these other positive cards, you guys, if you're to really sum up this entire reading, definitely a resounding yes in terms of the positive outlook. So even if you guys asked if, if you should get rid of like a friendship or if you should whatever, um, I feel like even though I say yes, <laughs> the overall answer is yes for people in pound number one, I definitely kind of urge you guys to just keep the black egg in check. You know, keep keep the black egg in mind rather. Keep your ego in mind. And if you, with those that feel the need to cut people off, um, maybe wait a little bit. Wait until that more information comes into play because we do have the conclusions are within reach in the night of fire so definitely yeah but this is definitely after like a few weeks this is not i don't want you guys to sit on this anymore don't go through this cycle of just feeling waiting for an answer or waiting for information to prove your narrative you know definitely make the choice once the information is presented to you rather than just waiting it out so yeah that's the messages that i have for you guys in pound number one i truly hope this did resonate with you if it did let me know in the comments below and give me a like and subscribe I would, it would mean the world to me and I also just want to know how these cards resonate with you guys. Which card resonated to you the most? Which one called out to you the most? I would just love to hear about it. But yeah, until next time, guys, I love you so much. And I can't wait to hear from you. Bye, guys. All right, people in pile number two, let's just go ahead and jump into your pile and see what cards we have going on for you guys. So right off the bat, we have a lot of strong Archangel energies and another Archangel Michael card coming forward. Something is like a little bit of a t uh, tidbit for you guys that none of the other pals know about is I actually plan on doing a Archangel Michael pick a card. So definitely an affirmation for me when for Michael to come in again um, for my readings, which I love it so much, but it's just very amusing to me. So 
let's just go ahead and jump into it when we're, we're, while we're talking about Archangel Michael. The Emperor card, organization and logic, structure and discipline, leadership, show the world the real you, full moon in Aquarius. I feel like for you guys in pile number one, this is going to be a layered answer for people in pile number two. Just be, or, I, Did I say pile number one earlier? I meant pile number two. Um, this is going to be a layered answer depending on whatever your situation is for your yes or theme subject whatever whatever the subject of your question is so if you're asking about um finances or career and stuff like that i definitely feel as if you guys this is like a yes for you guys for talking about for career so maybe you're talking about if you should shift in your career or if you're in the right place or maybe you're wondering about a per creative pursuit if it'll work out for you um definitely what i feel like for you guys because the page of earth talks about good news about financial matters wanting to do something more challenging a new area of study so definitely this card is going to be the representation for those in talking about career and just passion projects and stuff like that definitely i feel like there's just a push for you guys to really start challenge your, challenging yourself a little bit more start broadening your horizons a little bit maybe i mean we talk about the new area of study so maybe you're thinking about switching a job maybe this reading hopefully will help give you more guidance or sense of direction of where you need to go in your life but if you're feeling like you need to be switching your job or different career advancement i'm definitely feeling like a lot of people overall if you're not if you're questioning about sh shifting career or if you're questioning if something's going to work out i definitely just feel like an overall resounding yes for you guys in talking about for a career um that's where the uh, emperor card archangel michael comes into play right i always i always will suggest to people whenever archangels come forward into a reading because it's not just something that's the usual usually whenever the archangel step forward that's their in a way, I always like to view it as like a mentorship, as a way of a spirit guide contract, perhaps, or, or not a contract because you're not committing to anything, but the opportunity to connect to a different being that will be able to help you. Archangel Michael will be able to help you, I feel like, with your creative pursuits, with your career, help you get into a place of structure and discipline and own that leadership role. That's something that's very big with Archangel Michael. It's just very alpha energy i guess <laughs> as weird as it sounds um but yeah also with the full moon in aquarius to show the world the real you while this card is definitely relating to a couple different um subjects i definitely feel like this is this card to me is a definite push in terms of creative projects for you guys definitely creative pursuits to really start doing things that honor you do things that really let us into you a little bit more let us just more personal projects, I guess, rather than coming from constantly coming from a place perhaps of how this progresses in your life or how this will make you money. Start just doing things that will just mean good to you. Maybe just get into some type of art like singing or dancing or just even creating art with paints and whatever, poetry even. I definitely feel like instead of because I feel like because with Archangel Michael coming into play with the Page of Earth and how this is, comes into part, I feel like Archangel Michael is essentially trying to tell you guys that whatever this creative pursuit is, while it doesn't seem like you'd be able to monetize off of it or have success with it, Archangel Michael will definitely be the one to help you give that, bring that structure, bring that discipline to really help it be a reality. So even if it doesn't seem like realistic for you at first, it definitely is. So yeah, for people in pound number one, a resounding yes, I feel like in terms for positivity, in terms of just like a shift and change. Um, but getting into the, but also I want to touch on this because Archangel Haniel, the High Priestess card, brings a little bit of balance to this section as well. Um, because the High Priestess talks about listening to your intuition and having patience. Consider carefully what you want before acting. So before, you know, you, so you get these three cards. You hear me talk, break down these three cards and you feel like this is like the time for you to just quit your job and to just pursue whatever creative project it is this is the high priestess card comes in to really ground you a little bit to really have you make sure that you're making your de decisions and like are coming off from a place of not just urgency so maybe some of you guys and i feel like cho that chose this pile 
um, came to this reading, came to this video, which I'm glad I was, that you found me, but, and chose me to do this reading, but I feel like for some of you guys, there's like a sense of desperation or just seeking like an answer in the moment because maybe you just received bad news earlier today or just this past week or so, and you're just really just looking for something to enable you. And again, like, I'm just gonna, I'm, if anyone that's received a reading from me or done any of my other picker cards, y'all will just always know that I'm just very blunt and I come from a place of truly just non-judgmental because I'm the last person that needs to be judging anybody. I am on no place to be judging anybody. If anything, I get it <laughs> more than most people. But I feel like th this, for pile num people in pile number two, there's just such a push on not reacting emotionally to things, not treating your situation from a place of an emotional standpoint. And I feel like there's a reason as to why there's this reason that is being brought up. Um, so definitely, because we have the new moon in Virgo, a time to give rather than take. This is such a healing card in terms of, yeah, I just feel like, I don't know, connecting to, connecting to the energy and people in pile number two, I just feel like just like a sense of desperation, just a sense of, just needing to heal, honestly. And so that's something I just really do want to point out to you guys is that whenever you do make this decision, connect with, you know, connect to Archangel Michael, connect to Archangel Haniel, H Haniel, I don't know how to say their name. Um, however you choose to say their name, rather. Uh, definitely, maybe just try connecting with them, meditating with Archangel Haniel's sigil just for a little bit and maybe they can help you bring that clarity, give you that clarity, help you ground you a little bit and help you have a more come from a place of more stable energy more balanced energy before you base your before you make your decision because while i do say yes i and while there is just such a resounding yes in terms of career i just want it to be <laughs> i guess i'm just like really stressed on making sure that your question is asked from a rational place before you put take the yes into consideration. Does that make sense? While I'm not trying to discredit my reading at all, that's really not what I'm trying to do. I just really couldn't not speak up on it just because of the energy, the energy that I was just feeling for those that are connecting with people uh, in pile number two. I was about to say pile number one again. Um, but yeah, we also have the Lily card, spiritual love. I definitely feel like you guys need to incorporate spirituality a little bit into your life. Maybe you guys are just a little bit out of balance. So whatever spirituality means to you, whether that's just meditating, whether that's going to church and connecting with God, whether that's, you know, lighting a candle for your, um, whatever deity that you connect with, whether, whatever it is, whatever spirituality means to you, definitely start incorporating it, incorporating it a little bit more because I feel like spiritual energy is going to be part of the process that helps you heal, that helps you give that sense of calmness, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. And so, yeah, because we also have the camel card, which talks about perse persevere and you will overcome the problems. So you guys are definitely, pile number two, you guys are definitely dealing with some heavy stuff right now. And I really am feeling it for you guys. Like, I'm just, like, <laughs> I just feel the need to like, just say, I'm so sorry for like the stuff that you guys are going through right now, but you guys are definitely going to make it. Um, so going into the relationship aspect of things and how it can handle pertain to certain like just relationships platonic romantic and all that i definitely feel like hmm, for the for a lot of you guys i feel like i'm and i don't want this to sound like a cop-out but i can't help but bring up the intuition card again with our, the high priestess talking about listening to your intuition you guys in pile number two have a very strong intuition but it, you have to be careful about you know, the thing about having a strong intuition, especially if you rely on it, is your intuition, if not protected, not having like a good spiritual foundation, which is probably why, why that's suggesting you to really get spiritual and to really get in touch with your spiritual side is that once you do have like your intuition, you always have to keep your intuition accountable and to really keep your mental in the right place, keep your mental in check as well, because your intuition can be influenced by numerous things, whether it's your ego, whether it's just whether you have a positive mindset or just a negative mindset, whether, or just like with the people around you and just how you, you know, just because like your environment truly has an impact on how you, filter energies right and how you translate energies and so for you guys i feel like in relationships i definitely feel like 
there is a couple different parts to this. So that for my for my people who are in pile number two that are, are in relationships, the seven of earth talks about seeds well planted, a temporary pause, and an unnecessary worry. So for some people that I feel like they're in their relationships, again, relationships and romantic and friendships, both top, like the whole basis. Um, definitely, I feel like there's like, if you are feeling concerned or if you are wondering if there's like a red flag um, with your relationships, I want to, I lean more so towards, hmm, I lean so, more so towards that there's nothing to really, like, not to say that there's nothing to worry about, or, but more so perhaps you're worrying about the wrong things, or perhaps that your worry is coming from a place of maybe like a trauma response to something, or maybe, yeah, I definitely feel like for you guys in, that are in relationships, or have like a like your question pertains to a relationship i definitely feel like you guys are kind of like a little bit in the eye of the storm right now you're not you're not really sure like what to do which naturally that's why you came to this reading but i definitely feel like this is like a time for you guys to really just start working on yourself a little bit and what I mean by this is saying, because of the new moon in Virgo, we're talking about a time to give rather than take. This is really signifying to me that there's something on your end that you could be doing. So this is not me blaming, you know, because again, I always want to cover all my bases, especially with like a broad pick a card like this. I'm not necessarily blaming you guys for like, whatever your situation is, whether it's good or bad, but the cards come forward in the sense that there's more that you can do personally there's more you have more power into the in this situation than you might be aware of so maybe like you're in like a little bit of a rough spot in your relationship right now and you just feel the need that like you just don't know if it's going to work out or you're just wondering if you should cut them out or not i definitely feel like for you guys that again like with the high priestess card thinking thinking carefully before you're acting this is showing to me paired with the unnecessary worry this is showing that this is just representing to me that there's just something you could be more lenient on perhaps or something that you just could be doing more and to really either just like shift the relationship dynamic or to yeah, you just overall what I'm trying I guess what I'm overall trying to say and just get across is that you have more power. Like you definitely are have more power than you're aware of in this situation and how the tide you like you can turn the tides if you so choose, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So whatever the result is that you're seeking, you definitely could be doing a little bit more to have it come into reality. So to read a little bit in between the lines with this is that whether this is like whether regardless of whatever your question is if you're wondering if it'll work out or not, what I'm getting is that it can work out, but in this current state, in like what effort you're putting in, it's not going to work out in the way that you're wanting it to. So if you're wanting it to work out in the way, you know what you need to do to turn the tides to really work in your favor. Or if you don't already know, then to start taking the proper steps of getting to the place of just knowing, I guess. And yeah, that's the overall messages that I have for you guys in pile number two. I really hope this brings you guys some guidance and a sense of direction on whatever your question is. If this reading did resonate with you, please let me know in the comments below and give me a like and subscribe. It really does help me out so much. And I also just overall want to know how this reading pertained to you, what cards called out to you the most, which one really resonated to you the most, and just whatever question you ask if you want to share it with me because I'm just a little bit nosy as well. But yeah, I love you guys so much and thank you so much for checking out my channel. I love you guys. Bye. Hello people in pile number three. Let's just jump into your reading right now to see what cards we have for you guys for your yes or no question. Definitely have some very interesting cards. Um, mm, Y'all are going through some heavy stuff right now in pile number three. You guys are definitely going through some shadow work. I'm definitely feeling that right now. Um, so right now what I'm what I want to address and kind of just give you some affirmation right now is the Ten of Air. The Ten of Air card talks about the end of a difficult situation and to embrace the change and expect things to get better now. So this to me is for those that are wondering if they're on the right path or they're making the right decisions for their life the ten of air comes forward to let you guys know that it's like you are on the right path right now so not to 
worry too much on that, not to put too much stress on that, I guess. But also, this is just like a wonderful card to have because it's letting you know that you're almost done with your lesson because we pair it with the new moon in Capricorn talking about how your hard work is paying off. You know, this is not a coincidence that we have the Ten of Air talking about the end of a difficult situation and then saying your hard work is paying off. So definitely, you're going to be receiving some blessings during in your path very soon and just be able to reap the benefits of the trying time that you guys have been in right now in pile number three but um for to get into it a little bit deeper we have the flute card and this card talks about disappointment in a friend or lover lover so for me for in this regard i feel like what i'm getting for you guys that ask a question in terms of relationships whether it's friendship or romantic i'm getting a no for this whatever so however this pertains in whatever dynamic that no pertains in your relationship i definitely feel like maybe if you're wondering if someone's meant to be in your life or if they'll come back in your life i definitely feel like it's like a no in that regard um and that perhaps maybe it's time to like let go perhaps because we do have the disseminating moon take time to breathe out and also to keep in mind during all this is that you know this end this difficult situation for you guys in pile number three is coming to an end pretty soon so when something comes to an end and you know your hard work is going to pay off this signifies that you're going to start the next phase um of your life you know when you upgrade your life and anytime that you upgrade your life anytime that you are actively evolving and growing there are some things you'll have to just let go of sometimes it's going to be in your environment sometimes it's going to be certain individuals but in, in the case of relationships i definitely feel like it's the need for you guys to kind of just take time to breathe out and to just let go of certain individuals but but on the flip side of that just as like a sign of affirmation perhaps or just like a good sign or happy card because we have the unity card with with archangel sandal fun so um if you feel caught i always suggest this if you are open to connecting with archangels definitely connect to archangel sandal fun because i feel like it will definitely assist you into bringing you to the proper people that you need to be with so when you let go of people you open up space for higher vibrational people or not higher vibrational people well yeah higher vibrational people but people that are at the same level that you are at so um definitely archangel sanfon will be able to bridge that gap and help you put you on the proper path that you need to be on to meet certain individuals that will because this card says like traditional viewpoints or methods spiritual organization seek out mentors and like-minded friends this is definitely a card that is paired with this so it's just like letting you know that if there's someone that on your mind you're wondering if they're going to come back into your life or someone that you should think about pursuing definitely don't feel bad about letting it go letting you know moving on i'm definitely getting a lot of moving on energy at the time to take a breathe out with the disseminating disseminating moon but this promises to you that if you choose to let these people go or to let certain relationships go because i feel like this is more so regarding like romantic for most people in pile number three i also want to clarify that and i don't i mean i'm gonna just be blunt here and honest i don't feel comfortable in this current spread i don't feel confident enough in terms of speaking with friendships i feel like it could just yeah, I'm going to just be very blunt here and just say I don't, and if your question is in regards to like a friendship of some kind, I don't, unless the cards and the, the message itself is truly resonating with you, I'm going to just very confidently say that this is not the reading for you. And <laughs> if you're seeking insight on like a friendship, I feel, definitely feel like this is more so for lovers in this dynamic for this. Um, but yeah, also for continuing on with this, we have the... Um, Actually, no, we're going to continue on with the Four of Air. This is another card. We have the, like, you know, it's interesting how these cards are just pairing up so beautifully because with the disseminating moon talking about it's time to breathe, take a time to breathe out. And now with the Four of Air talking about it's time to take a rest or a vacation, allow more time before making a decision. See, this is what it was confirming to me. This is why I don't feel comfortable in terms of speaking on it with friendships because I feel like in terms of friendships, it's a time for you guys to allow more time before making a decision um that's gonna be i feel like this is a card for those that have that are unsure that to wait a little bit because there's going to be more information coming to you that will help you give 
a resounding yes or no in terms of that kind of dynamic. Does that make sense, you guys? I just I just want to be honest because it's just I don't want people to base their decisions or change their direction in life or just, you know, this is real relationships that we're talking about, right, guys? So it's like, I'm not going to, like, feed my ego and, like, <laughs> pretend as if, like, I can you know, just give out this information when it, I just truly am not sure about it for in terms of really, uh, friendship. So hopefully, hopefully that is okay. I, um, but yeah. So yeah, I feel like definitely this is like, in terms of just friendships, I feel like this is, or just in rela regarding relationships in general. And I also feel like this is in regards to career as well. I definitely feel like this is going to be a time because like we, you guys are people in pile number three. You guys are just going through like this heavy last bit of the gauntlet of your face, this last obstacle before you start, you elevate and start reaping the benefits and starting the next phase or chapter of your life. Um, see, also, like, I want to point this out. I'm like, I don't look at these piles before I jump into the readings. I just shuffle the cards, have them all set up. And then like, when I'm seeing the cards as I'm seeing the cards in real time as you guys are. And so when I'm like looking at this, I don't want to like, I have to like, jump back to what I was saying before, but like with the hammock card as well, taking your vacation physically or mentally. So you have one, two, three cards that are all talking about rest, that are all talking about the need to just take a moment and breathe. So I feel like in terms of just overall for you guys in panel number three, regardless of whether it's relationship or friendship or even career, you guys, I feel like when you go through like this difficult phase and especially if you go through like such a time like a life altering phase in your life you it's hard to transition into just enjoying the benefits of things and to enjoy the good in your life without feeling the need to be on without feeling like bad that you're not doing something actively or changing something or whatever this is really time for you guys in pile number three there's such a push for you guys to really take a breather take a moment and just really just clear your mind put things in perspective and to not make your decisions based off of stress that's really what i'm getting for you guys and same thing also in terms of like for career wise as well i feel like you guys maybe you're just feeling underwhelmed and maybe like your projects aren't panning out in the way that that you would like them to um but also like with the vulture like you know no we're gonna hold off on that but yeah like if you feel like your projects are not panning out in the way that they're or they're just not reaping benefit as soon as you would like um, or like you're just, things are not turning out career-wise as you would anticipate them to, give it some time and to allow yourself, don't feel like the, just because, don't see it as like, just because you're not seeing the results immediately that you need to work harder. That's not what I'm getting at all. Like, you I mean, you're getting such a constant push for you guys to just take a moment to breathe. So in terms of career, I feel like you guys are just very workaholics for those that ask this question about for pound number three. You guys are definitely like workaholics and just need to like go, 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 go. And feeling like um, there's just like a neat change for you. Like you feel like you need to make a change. And maybe you're feeling like you need to make a change right now because like you're in a dark phase. But the vulture card, going back to what I wanted to do originally, it brings in the sense of asking to have a broader perspective. And this also, when, um, in, when I say broader perspective, I don't mean just in terms of career-wise, but I also mean in friendships and relationships as well, because with the Queen of Earth, making time for those around you, taking a sensible approach, deal with challenges in a kind of understanding matter. So obviously in terms of relationships, this is giving me the confirmation as to why I didn't feel comfortable talking about in terms of like your friendships. Um, I, because I definitely just feel like for you guys in pile number three, when it comes to like your social re relationships, and your romantic relationships, I definitely feel like that there's just a need for like a broader perspective that it's going to be very individualistic for each of you. So for those that ask this kind of question, pal number three, what I want you to take for what I want you to take from this as your answer um, is to really just see where you changing your mindset and making sure that your mindset isn't developed from a place of self-preservation right because when you're going through the, these lessons when you're going through these obstacles you naturally just want to act from a place of self-preservation so if anything that's just seemingly negative especially if you're already stressed out you're gonna just want to like cut it out of your life or maybe um yeah like overall like take some time to rest once your this difficult phase ends before you make your decision so that's what i want for you guys overall and people in pound number three is to 
just take, before you make any decision, even after this reading, take a moment to just relax a little bit. Take a moment to just breathe, to de-stress, to put yourself back on the ground. You know, if you are, you know, take a broader perspective, analyze your environment, analyze everything, see things from a new set of eyes, a new set of rested eyes, you guys. But yeah, that's the overall messages that I have for you guys in pile number three. I really do hope that this brought, brought you guys some clarity. And if it did resonate with you guys in some shape or form, please let me know. I would love to hear about it in the comments below about which card resonated with you and like how. And if you want to share with the question that you had, I would love to hear about it just because I'm a little bit nosy, right? But yeah, if this reading did resonate with you guys, I would love for you guys to give me a like and subscribe because it does me, help me out a lot and it's just very appreciated. But until next time, guys, I really do hope this give you guys this reading gives you guys a sense of clarity and sense of direction. I really do hope that, that this helped. But I love you guys so much, and thank you so much for checking out this video. Bye, guys. All right, people who chose pile number four, let's see what cards we have for you right now for your yes or no question. So very interesting. I feel mmm. People in pile number four. Okay. I want to also like say that I feel like a lot of people who chose pile number four for their yes or no are also coming from a different pile as well, or that they're going to combine a couple different piles in this reading for their message. So if that's you, definitely let me know in the comments below. It's, it's no shade or anything at all. I just very, that's just my observation just from, cause I'm sensing some familiar energies in this one. Um, so, Again, we have Archangel Michael, the world card. Archangel Michael keeps showing up. So definitely, I feel like Archangel Michael showed up, I'm pretty sure, in pile number two. So if you, if you came from pile number two, y'all, <laughs> definitely let me know in the comments below. This would honestly like warm my heart so much if, yeah, anyways, let's just get into your reading a little bit more. But the Archangel Michael card, this is just such a resounding yes Archangel with Archangel Michael stepping forward like this, because this card says a job well done, joy and contentment and gratitude, the path towards enlightenment. And we pair it with the waxing moon, the energy is gaining momentum. So this is just so much good, you guys. Like, so, 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 so much good. Like, I don't think you guys really understand, like, how wonderful this pairing is. So regardless of... Like, I feel this is just such a positive card. So, however, because I don't, because I don't know the format of your yes or no question, you guys, however your question is formatted, I definitely want to say the answer is leaning on the positive side. So, you know, if you're questioning if you're on the right path or not, yes, absolutely you are. If you're questioning, um, if you're like crazy or something, no, you absolutely aren't. Like, do you know what I mean by this? By what I say, by the answer is going to be the positive result. So yeah, I don't wanna like, <laughs> whoever asked the question, y'all will understand what I mean by that, I feel. But yeah, going on with this, we have just so much positive energy for you guys right here. This is, I feel like from pile number four, you guys are really just a time for you guys to like, just not give up. That's the overall resounding energy that I'm feeling like for you guys in pile number four. So if you're feeling like you're defeated or you're feeling like a little bit frustrated with some people, um, I'm definitely feeling like, yeah, this is just not a time for you. Like this is like, you guys are going through a hard time right now in pile number four, definitely. And the messages that Michael comes forward with as well is with the South Node, don't let your past hold you back. But you know, we also have the bridge card talking about successfully overcoming a problem. So I feel like for you guys, even though it says successfully coming overcoming a problem, I feel like this is more so just letting you know that, you know, like the like it go it pairs with the waxing moon, the energy is gaining momentum. So I feel as if like once you cross to the other side of the bridge, that's when you're gonna really reap the benefits and that's where the positive things are gonna start really like flooding for you because it's just like it's just such a resounding just like don't give up energy you guys so people in pile number four if you're just ser searching for something to give you faith like and to just give you that push and let you know that you're on the right path you de absolutely are people in pile number four like this is such a good time for you we have the nine of fire talking about not giving up so yeah don't give up you guys if you're going through a rough period right now don't give up and don't base your decisions off of your situation right now. That's also what I want to say is like, don't base your current situation and your decisions on like potentially like in terms of 
negatively like letting go people or like leaving a job or anything like that i definitely feel as if or even like if you're like pursuing someone and you're not sure if someone likes you or not i definitely just overall feel like like not to give up not to feel defeated yet and to keep going at it keep going at it because you want like once you get across this bridge that's really when you're going to reap the benefits and just touching on in terms of relationships and with work life as well we have the rooster card which talks about an arrogant boastful person which you should not cross so so breaking this down and how this dynamic works for this kind of reading definitely what i'm feeling like again like just with how the card says itself it's just, i don't feel like this is time for you guys to cut off people um, I definitely feel like this is a time for you. This is the relationships you have in your life right now. It's not a time to let go of things as I was feeling before, but also in terms of work life, this is not the time for you to really quit your job right now or to really make any changes because these changes are not conducive to where you're going right now because you everything is going according to plan right now. Really overall, the overall push for people in pile number four is to not make any like sudden changes in the moment for you guys you know be the frog energy comes into just like really allowing you know <laughs> allowing being okay with the rain and just be, allowing yourself to just like stand like you know how like a front this is gonna be such an awful analogy but you know how they the saying or the thing of where like a frog can just be in doesn't know it's in a boiling pot of water until it's too late because it just like adjusts to its temperature constantly this is kind of like the energy that i want you guys to have in pile number four where it's just like you're able to brute force your way through this like environment but you don't worry about being boiled to death or like whatever because the archangel michael comes into play saying it's like it's going like pos like just a lot of positivity just so it's really just asking you to just not give up to really persevere through this right now don't make any rash decisions right now energy is gaining momentum and then you know with the nine of wanda talking about your wishes coming true and concerns fading away a love life so definitely this is giving me again like an affirmation for those that like have like maybe a love interest or maybe they feel like if they're tr not sure if they should let someone go or not i'm definitely feeling like just don't like there's there's definitely like a brighter like a pot of gold at the end of your at the other side of the bridge for you guys i definitely feel like things are going to start working out for you guys not now obviously when i say like be like the frog and be able to like tough out the environment for a while obviously if you're in a negative situation or an abusive situation don't be going to pick a card for that first of all leave your situation and put yourself in a place of safety first and foremost i am not going to be the one that tells you to stay in a toxic environment when i don't think you should and anyone ever should deal with that but what I'm saying is if you, you know, I don't want it to be confused. I don't want you to confuse a toxic environment with just a environment that's just challenging to you. That makes you uncomfortable um, because overall you guys are on the right path. Definitely. You know, with the chariot card as well, this is a beautiful card because the chariot card just talks about pushing through and just going straight through. Like this is definitely, I mean, paired with the energy gaining momentum, you guys, like, I mean, y'all in pile number four is the most direct reading that i have out of everyone here is just the matter of like keep persevering through like this is such a positive like high vibrational reading for you guys like so much good is happening for you guys in pile number four and you just have to don't make any changes right now things are working out for you it may you may not see the result right now but it's definitely like i'm feeling like in the next month or so month and a half at most um you're going to see why it was worth like persevering through this pushing through the through this and you're going to be thankful that you didn't make any rash decisions rash decisions in the moment you guys are going to thank me for that i feel like but yeah that's the cards that i have for you guys in pile number four y'all is just very just very very direct but i really do hope that this reading gives you guys some clarity um if this reading did resonate with you guys please give me a like and subscribe because it really does help me out a lot and i appreciate it so much but also i would just love to know about how um this reading resonated with you which card card called out to you the most or what was you in your question because like i'm just a little bit nosy i like to know people's business like that but yeah i really hope this, this that this reading just gives you a sense of direction gives you a sense of faith and just motivation to just keep pushing through you guys got this in pile number four like there's just so much good for you guys building up that you may not see it yet but it's going to just come into fruition very soon like the energy is definitely gaining momentum your wishes are definitely coming true like you guys got this don't give up you guys
guys. Like, Dying of Fire quite literally says, don't give up. You guys got this. I love you guys so much in panel number four. Thank you so much for checking out this video. It's so appreciated. And until next time, guys.